is worthy to wield Thor's hammer? That's what we're about to find out in the next Rogue Record Breakers event. It's a one-armed deadlift, and $5,000 is on the line for anybody who can beat 260 pounds. Thanks for being with us today for this special portion of the 2021 Rogue Invitational, the Record Breakers segment. I'm Sean Woodland with Dr. Bill Crawford. These are some very beautiful yet very heavy and challenging implements that are out there. Yes, they are beautiful, but they, uh, they're they heavy. Uh, it, I got a chance to play with them the other night with uh, Big Laws, our own very, our very own Big Laws, and uh, I was with uh, uh, the creator of these, uh, uh, Bill Henniger, and uh, they're, they're super beautiful. He put a ton of time into them. So they're all the same size, but they're, they're shot loaded on the, in, in the bottom part of it. So that's how they actually incrementally increase the weight because they all look the same size, which they are, but they're just heavier as you go up. It's pretty deceptive, and you want to have a, a good grip, obviously, but it's also how you position your hand. You don't, want to, you don't want your hand turned over underhanded too much because of you know your bicep and your arm. So really just reach down to the side, grab it, stand up with it, and put it back down. Like really good events, the simplicity is in actually mm -hmm. performing the event. And, it, and uh, the record is 260, so they're going to pay for anything over 275, uh, over, over 260 pounds. The only one that's over that is 275, so that's when the competition will start. And if multiple people lift that hammer at 275, it is whoever lifts the heaviest after that. Correct, correct. You'd have to, and having a tiebreaker will probably, they, I don't know if they're going to put a timer on it. We'll have to see what happens. But uh there are also going to be some some of the world-class athletes that you've got to see compete all weekend, and the strongmen are actually going to be out there, not just uh, Big Laws. I believe uh, Mateusz is out. Uh, Martins the, is there. Shivlikov is there. Shivlikov. I mean, this is a big crew. Big Laws. This is a good group of guys. And Martins already walked away with a six-figure check. Why not add 5000 more to that if you can? <laughs> well, I mean, it is, it is a competition for for uh, the $5,000 prize, but also too, at some level, this turns into, these athletes want to do these kind of things for pride. Right. You know, who's got the best grip? That's what gets you into sports. Uh, these guys will, you know, compete with each other in, in, in other things, and I've, you know, been around it when it happens. This is another thing to say, okay, let's go out and have another bit of fun, and there's a prize, uh, there's a prize that we could possibly win. Let's see who's got the best grip. These are really competitive guys. They've all got super grips. As a strong man, that's one of the prerequisites. To, to being a good uh, strongman. There is Big Laws who helped out with the commentary for our strongman competition. He was kind of vacillating as to whether or not he was going to do it. And I'm sure he started talking to some of the other guys down there. And they came, come on, come on. He, like you said, peer pressure. Okay, we're going to, I'll do it. I got to hold him a little bit too. I'm like, come on, man. He, he pulled the 225 and, and just so easily. And I, and I put, I, I, you know, I, I sent it to him. I said, you know, this is easy. You, you, should, you should go because I'm sure he could get the 250. So the 275. But like all other grip events, that you're like, well, what's the difference between 250 and 275? That is an eternal distance and in, in weight in a grip event. Yeah, especially it's, with one arm. Well, you saw yesterday in the uh, in the in the uh, the anvil lift, it just took five pounds to make it look like it was glued to the ground. And you didn't have any any chance of doing anything. So we have a female competitor. If she pulls this 200 pound, I would be supremely impressed. Well, she was out competing in the uh, anvil. Yes. And she was taking cracks at the 170, which is which would have been the record. So for her, this is probably well within what she can do. Oh boy, she broke it off the ground. Oh, come on, stand up with it. She's right there. That's it. Straddle it. Turn your hand over too much can be a problem. You, know, you talk all about grip strength. Obviously, that is key here. But there is a, a technique to lifting these things. Yes, there is. You want to you want to be able to. Uh, it's it's really mostly in your thumb and the in the front part in your your first two fingers, much like an anvil lift might be. The other thing is you don't want to turn your hand over too much. I don't think because that can affect how you pull the weight up. And you do not want to take an underhanded grip because that's too much pressure on your bicep and the other muscles of your forearm. She's making a good run. She did break it off the ground. Come on. Oh, I got to so tell you, close. I'm super impressed you yeah. broke it off the ground. Those things are heavier. I was, we had to warm up a little bit and kind of uh, work into that first one. And they don't look that big on camera. You go next to them, they look massive. 
they look absolutely massive. The East competitor will have 60 seconds in which to try each hammer. And well, that's uh, Ode Haugen. And here comes uh, Mikhail Shivlikov up next. Yes, Misha, he's going to take a crack at this. He's got a fantastic grip as well. World class strongman, obviously, but you know, inside of that, there's another group of guys that are really good at it. And that was no problem for Shivakov. <laughs> <laughs> He's warming up. <laughs> there's a little bit of jockeying inside of here. Who's next? So, there comes you know. Kieliszkowski, who finished fourth in the first ever 20, uh, first ever Rogue Invitational strongman competition. <laughs> Won that Timber Yogan Log Medley event. And just, we were talking about that uh, when you were in here with us earlier, but just how impressive he was with that 360 pound log, not even pausing at his shoulders to lift that thing. Here comes Big Laws. Yeah, that's no problem. Big Laws got it, yeah. This is going to be a pedestrian uh, round for this group. It's Martins, obviously, the winner last night. And also, the uh, he trains with Ode, so they do a lot of grip training. Ode Haugen is the head referee, and he's a, he's been a world class. Uh, grip specialist for a long time. Leachie's had a great moment last night to close out the competition day when he cleared that stone ladder in 23 and a half seconds. Well, you know, when he, the, after the first stone, he, he went he went into the first stone square. And then the second stone, he turned his body, watch the body language and go back and watch that. And I, I, I knew that at that point, he probably could possibly win because he was positioning himself as himself for speed. He was going for broke. Another successful lift at 200. That is Trey Mitchell. He is uh, American Strongest Man. He won the Shaw Classic and placed uh, fourth at World Strongest Man. So that's the caliber of athlete we have here. Doesn't matter where you grip it, right? Doesn't matter where you grip it. And that was easy as well. So all these competitors kind of warming up now on these four hammers on the 200 pounder. Very pedestrian. They're gonna move up, go to the 225. He's running. <laughs> <laughs> Shivlikov getting right to it. Left-handed, no problem. Uh, I wonder if the strategy is gonna be to, uh, it doesn't say you have to use the same hand, just who gets it up. So maybe you, you clear the, the first couple of three and then when, it, when the money comes down, you use the other hand. But you really wanna have those hands warmed up. And you saw Martins lift with each hand. 225 for Kuliskowski. He's coming a little bit further down. There is a little bit of a, a sort of a burnished area near the top of the hammer, and the hammer does have a little rim on it, which helps zero. <laughs> now Big Law is up next for his second attempt, 225. Yes, he former just- Former Europe's strongest man. Yes, former Europe's strongest man, a great strongman in a long time, a real legend. Big Laws is one of the most loved athletes in strongman, no question. He's the strong man, strong man in, in, in my book. And up here in the booth, his enthusiasm and energy was absolutely contagious. It's a lot of fun watching him react like a fan and provide some great insight as well. The insight, he's a, he's a, a lovely person, but he's a, he's a, he loves this sport. Okay, now, pretty easy. I wonder if he doubles up. No, he doesn't. So he, felt, he thought his left hand probably felt better. Maybe six with that one. Now, when you saw Mateusz, he actually he actually positioned the, the weight. I'm catching this. He's letting the hand, the top of the handle, push against his forearm. So he's possibly using that to kind of break some of the movement of the weight as it comes up. So I think that's what's happening. 225 for Trey Mitchell. Trey Mitchell's going to just pull this right up. Oh, no, did not stand. He was our tester all weekend for the events. Oh. Wow. That just shows how deceptive yeah. these things are. Look at that. Good attempt by Trey. <laughs> was able to break it off the ground, but not able to stand it up fully. This is Josh Thickpin. He's a, he lives here in Texas. He's a former uh, world-class strongman in his own right. So there's nobody out there that's not just a world-class athlete. So the water's pretty deep. <laughs> These are world-class strongmen going at this, but Josh was a fantastic competitor for a long time. Looking very svelte these days. And he won the Denny Hold yesterday with uh, 31.77. There it is. 25 is good. Yeah, easy, no problem. 275 would be the record. 260 is the current record. Yes. Kyle Shiplikoff. 
has traded in the trademark beret for the hat. And he's running enthusiastic. Like it. Wow. Another left handed attempt, no problem. There you go. I can tell you, shaking these guys' hands is something. <laughs> you, you gotta, you gotta know what you're getting your into. They engulf it. <laughs> you gotta know what you're getting into. They're making this look pretty easy. I'm, I'm actually surprised. Steve Wyskowski at 250, and that is easy. Oh, he didn't give him a down. I guess he did. <laughs> Big laws. Okay, come on now. Oh, he did, he did. didn't show enough control at the top. What he's looking for is that shoulder roll back and to have uh, and to have complete control. He goes left handed this yes, time, and that, that one will count. Once you once you push that shoulder back, that's a that's a completed one handed lift. So understand what I'm saying. You can't have the shoulder over like in a deadlift. Right, you right. got to you got to roll that shoulder forward. back. Yes, you got to roll that shoulder back. Here comes Martins Leeds, the 2021 Rogue Invitational Strongman Champion, and. May as well be <laughs> picking up an empty bucket. Yes, a popsicle stick, <laughs> no problem. Josh Thickman back up for his attempt. I think Josh is good for this one. But again, he did compete in the Denny hold and set the record yesterday, so his hands might be a little taxed. Oh, oh. slipping out of the right hand there. Yeah. But broke it off the ground, second attempt. He'll have a 30 second time limit. That has it. He's got it. So there's, you know, there's crushing strength like you'd have with uh, with a pair of grippers. Everyone knows that. And then there's supporting strength. Right. There are just different kinds of strength that that people have in their hands. And so you'll have somebody maybe is really good at this. This would be the record. And there it is. There Mikhail it is. Siblikov <laughs> has just set a new record at 275 pounds. So he set the bar to chase. There you go. Everybody made 250 look pretty, you know, pretty easy. I. But this is going to really start to sort things out. No question about Felix that. Kowski trying to match Shivlikov. I think Mateusz is good for this. 275. Oh. Oh, Mateusz just can't quite seem to get the grip on this thing. Just can't stand it up. Uh, look at that. Okay, come on now. He's been competing all weekend, to be fair. So, <laughs> it's not like he's fresh. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there yes, is. there you there go. You right handed lift. Oh, oof. He pulled that one out. You know, uh, uh, I've been around strongman and lifting for a long time, and Polish lift, the Polish competitors are known for their grip strength. They're known for having really strong hands. Here's Big Laws. Yes. They think didn't count it. Oh, come Same on now. Last time. Come on. <laughs> Chad Clark with uh, Ode Helgen. Come on now. Come on, you got a big loss. He's got 30 seconds. Oh, you got, they, they're yeah. giving them a minute. A minute at each. At yeah, each there we go. That makes it better. He's going to get this. Oh, he had it. Now it's oh, nailed down. He's not going to oh. be able to get it. Oh. Well, see, that's the thing. You've got to be able to stand up and under control bring right. it back down. You saw the anvil yesterday. Same thing. Whoa. Okay, Martins, you don't have to shrug it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no showing off, thank you. So a new record is set twice. And now Josh Thickpen will try to match Leetzis and Shivlikov at 275. And Kieliskowski. That's right. I think Josh is good for this. He's been really training his grip, I heard. Oh, that thing's nailed down. Yeah. <laughs> he says, let me try the 250 again. No, no. <laughs> warm-up lift in. <laughs> exactly. So deceptive. It does not. Only 275 pounds. But this is because as soon as you start to pull this up, it just wants to slide from right. your hand. And it's very smooth. There is there is zero advantage inside of this. There's no knurling, nothing. There's some uh, there's some grooves that have been carved into it a little bit, but I think actually that reduces the surface area that you can put your hand. I don't think it's helpful. Josh, oh, he broke it from the ground. Ten seconds. 
just nailed down. There you go. Wow. Okay, three guys. So, Shivlikov, Kiliskovsky, and Lisi's. All three men took part in the strongman competition over the past two days. You know, I've got a dumbbell that, that uh, I call the pretty girlfriend because guys want to just, you know, go talk to her. This is exactly <laughs> what this is. This is a pretty girlfriend uh, event. 300 pounds for Shivlikov. This is the first time we've seen him struggle, and he has a minute. He's able to budget. Just a just a beautiful implement. I mean, I just can't tell you. I, up close, they're they're very pretty. Up close, they're absolutely big. They just they're impressive up close. Yeah, this looks like Shivlikov is going to get this one to budge. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh, broke the ground. He says, "Oh, wait a minute." So I'll do the similar routine last night with the with the stones. It's just nailed down. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think? What do you think? Kilos Koski had to struggle a little bit. Yeah, Martins I, even shrugged at 275. Every time I underestimate Martins it's just. <laughs> he He's got a wrong. gear. I get the 300. I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty impressed that they're actually on the 300 with some attempts. Here's Kilos Koski at 300, first attempt. Come on now. Oh, uh, I would the underhand. The underhand puts a lot of pressure on the on the on the bicep, and I think that that's, that you're tempted to do that because you feel that it's like a curl or something, but it really doesn't help. Come on, he's going to use all his time, but just cannot find the right. It's just stuck to the on that thing. It's stuck to the ground. Yeah, that's what happens. It's okay. He's done a great job. Great job. I still think I'm most impressed by the female competitor breaking the yeah, 200 off the ground. If you don't believe me, go down and put your <laughs> hand on that. That is fantastic. Belitzi's so trying to win this event as well. Oh, Ooh. oh! Wait a minute. That was close. He's just trying to see which hand to do it with. Yo, three hundred pounds! And wow. They, they <laughs> gave it to him. <laughs> so a new record for Martins Leitzis. Another nice little paycheck for him. Does he try the three twenty-five or just leave some gas in the tank for later? Come on! I think the people want to see him try it one time. One time, just just take a crack at it. Maybe not. Oh, come on! Because he knows that somewhere down the road there could be a uh, there could be another opportunity <laughs> like this. Yeah. Well, just to lift up that one dumbbell, he made five thousand dollars. It's good work if you can get it. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Sets a new record in Thor's hammer, beating the old record by forty pounds. And I think the crowd is trying to egg him on to maybe go after the next one. Oh, come on, Martins. There you go. I think he's going to do it. I wonder if Fode's got any influence. Probably not. He's not even talking. Like, <laughs> this is your choice. You're on your own turf. These other guys are still trying to lift it. Like, why is that so hard? <laughs> well, 325 to break the record he just set. Oh, it, he broke it off the ground. I'm really impressed by that. <laughs> I'm impressed by that. Uh, Even breaking that off the I ground. I think he wants, wants to go home and cash his check, but the crowd really wants to see him make another oh, run, and wow. Martins is going to call it. But he beats the old record by 40 pounds. 300 pounds on Thor's hammer for Martins Leitzis, your 2021 Rogue Invitational Strongman Champion. Really beautiful uh, implements, and uh, I hope they're more widely available for people to get. And I think this is a new test of strength that uh, people will like to join in on. Sometimes you can train with this implement, uh, to train for this implement just with a post, a loading pin. But the difference is that this is actually burnished stainless steel. So right. this is very different than, because there's a little bit of texture to even a, a loading pin. Now one more look at the ultimate record-breaking lift at 300 pounds. His first attempt, couldn't quite budget, but then he got it on the second. Yes. 
the fact that he broke off the ground was impressive. Stands up, locks it back, no problem. Man, fantastic. <laughs> you know what he did? He actually got it off the ground instead of completing the stand. He, he struck it back and that completed the lift. So this has been Martin's weekend, no question about it. He had himself a, a nice little trip to Texas, winning six figures in the strongman competition and just some walking around money here and after thanks to, breaking this record. And thanks to Rogue for making all this opportunity for athletes like this. So, you know, uh, advancing strongman is something that everyone's interested in, and Rogue has done that uh, in a first class way. Well, I know if you watch any of the strongman competition over the past couple of days and you've yet to, it's your first competition that you've, you've seen, you were definitely treated to some really exciting moments. And, you know, that's common in strongman competitions, that kind of excitement that you get, like, especially what we saw from Martins Lietzis last night in the Stone Over Post event. You know what, Sean? I'm really excited for this uh, final. I heard about the format just sitting here, and it was revealed uh, about the format. I'm not a CrossFit <laughs> uh, expert by any means, uh, but I'm really interested in seeing how this pans out. And the other piece of that is that the the snatch is so technical. Yeah, it's going to be a fun event. I think anytime you throw brackets at me, I'm a happy guy. So uh, it's going to be a, a, a great final event for the individuals. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with another Rogue Record Breaker event, the deadlift for reps. So stay with us, everybody, here in Round Rock, Texas.